Six and eight, what? Call it five off the cash. Six and eight, yeah. Six and eight. All right, bro. I'll go to the cash point now, okay? Salt and vinegar here. Salt and vinegar on the spices, please. Uh, and all open, no wrapped. I'm going to eat it now. Together or separate? All together. Thank you, sir. Top some cash. A few moments later. What, so we microwave cooked chicken? Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Huh? We used to always send tea. So is that, is that just cooked? Is that, yeah, it's ready cooked, ready. Just warm it up in the microwave. You keep it in the fridge. In there it goes dry. Okay. Well, we'll give it a go. Salt and vinegar, please. No wrapped salt and vinegar on the, uh, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Just open, please. Yeah, well, thank you, sir. Cheers. Yes, everyone, welcome back. Now, as you probably just saw, that was really weird. So, we were local, looked for a local fish and chip shop. That's how you uncover these places, completely off the cuff. And we found this place. Got a spicy chicken corner, your fish and chips. I, uh, they microwaved it. We just cut to the chase. <laughs> Never seen that before. Microwaving food for me absolutely destroys it. You kind of zapping your nuclear, your nuking any sort of goodness it ever had, but you never know. I might be surprised. And this is kind of fitting, I suppose, because four years ago, when we started this, I think my second review was a fried chicken and spices. I think that was actually the last time we had spicy potatoes, uh, 1,490 reviews ago. Oh, so that's kind of cool. We did have spices in Sheffield. Did we? Yep. Oh, well, That's certainly the only not a lot, though. Yeah, yeah, probably the only time. <coughs> I do love so, a spicy. You love a spicy, I love a spicy. And these are like... We've gone for like... We ain't got no wedges around here. These are like the full plums. It's like a jacket. We've got the full plums. <laughs> I, I really do find it weird that they've microwaved it in front of you. It just binged it. Right, yeah, I right. was like, what happened there? I thought it would be a hot holding counter so the chicken is kept at a good temperature. He said it's kept in the fridge. Who knows? And then knows. they might grow it before. before Who serving. knows? So, uh, yeah, a little bit speechless. Like, I don't want to, we're, not, we're not out here to smash people to bits or whatever, but it is what it is. So let's just try it. Let, obviously, the chicken, bro, it just makes it just go wet. It's a weird one. It's definitely a weird one. Do you know one. what I could probably do with about food poisoning to speed up the uh, diet a little bit? Like and follow for more. We're on the street eating this. Well, they stuff. can always uh, microwave it for you again. I don't know why they <laughs> microwaved it, bro. Should we get to microwave again if it gets cold? Yeah, that's what I mean. Absolute triple nuked. <laughs> Here we go, spices. Right, let's have a look. Ooh. They're not, um, they're not the worst I've had. Okay. But they're pretty fucking close to it. Um, Very spicy at all, or...? The outer coat is really subtle. It's not spicy at all. OK. There's a little bit of flavour there, it's just the texture's all off, mate. It does have that signature spicy sort of softness, fluffiness to the potatoes, as you can probably see. Glistening there in the 6 p.m. light. It's like a review of old. All right, this is where it gets really starts to get interesting now for me because we're now eating reheated, reheated chicken. Ooh. That looks basically like a sweaty mess. It's not looking promising. Oh dear. Some of the shit I do for you lot. Oh. Uh, 
Um, right, they hopefully they're going to watch this. We see we went to get cash from the news agents, and the owner came around and said, "You better give my ta- you better give my takeaway a good score." We, look, we're not out here to smash people. That's not what we're trying to do. And yes, we haven't been recommended to come here, but we, we could have been amazing, right? Could have uncovered somewhere that these locals are proud of. I don't know what to suggest. Maybe getting a hot holding counter, but microwave and knees is not the f***ing option. Uh, the flavour is kind of there. They are nicely cooked. But then the reheating phase there just smashes them to bits. It might, puts a texture. They were like mushy. Yeah. Yeah. It puts a texture somewhere it doesn't need to go. Just ruins the crispy outer coating that you want from it. It makes it. Chicken. It takes it to somewhere that's not palatable, and it's a shame because the the flavour on those wings is actually there. I can taste it. Get past that initial. Uh, try not to be sick, and you do get the flavour. It's also not like it's just like a, a side option. It does say on the sign, right? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Exclusive some fried chicken. This here looks, bruv, looks like like some really thick, gnarly coating on that. Again, got a big piece. This was £6.90 as well. There we go, look. So it's just, if I had a hot, hot holding thing, it would take the steam and the moisture out, hot, keep it at the right temperature. I don't know. Should you be doing chicken if you have to reheat it like in the microwave? It's really, uh, except for this out of coating. It's coming back. Huh? Like, the chicken. All right. There he is. Right in the bookies. Um, Not what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling a little bit sad with that. This is the like the lower end of um, food we're trying to cover. Well, we are desperate. We're desperately passionate about great food, people, produce. That just yeah. This is the epitome of cutting corners. Ooh. Not having the right equipment, not having the right equipment, and chuck it in the microwave just to get it hot for me. I want, don't want a hot meal. I want a great meal. And yeah, you might say it's just a fish and chip shop, kebab house, whatever it is. I don't care. It is what it is. <laughs> it's really sad as well because it's. In, the outcoat has, has got flavour, it's salty, it's got that kick, it's thick. I'd love to have tried some fresh out of the fryer because I guarantee you this would have been legit. I guarantee it this would have been, this particular this chicken here, look at it. Look at this, look. Look at that. That crispy, that crunchy, would have been amazing. Time for a score, Callum. We're going out. I think we've got to do another one. Let's leave it on this. It's been a great year, people. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the, our content this year. We've achieved so much. We've grown so much. And uh, it's been one hell of a journey. Massive shout out to Callum. Uh, we're going to go out of 2022 with a 2.6. Whoa. Could have so easily been an eight. And that, ladies and gents, is the game we play. Thanks for watching. We love you all. Yeah, happy new year. See us big daddy B pubs and Matt on a mission To find he's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?